Hello, I'm Pat, and I like cameras. You can probably tell, because of all the cameras. I just think they're neat. I like all the art that they can make, and where are you going? I love all of the different arts that you can make, photography, filmmaking, all that jazz, but there is one camera that myself and many a 90s kid hold in particularly high esteem, and it is this, the beautiful, the wonderful, the unapologetically plastic Game Boy camera. Now, I've got a problem. I got this thing like 10 years ago to make some weird art and like an idiot, I went and filled it with cherished memories. So today I am on a rescue mission. I want to take all of the images that are trapped on this weird Japanese eyeball and convert them to a digital format so they can instead be stored on the internet and therefore our hearts. So if you're like me and are, what's a polite way to say stuck in the past, very young and definitely cool, you can also get your pictures off of your old Game Boy camera or maybe make some art, which is what I will do once I rescue my friend's souls. Okay, here we go. All right, if you're doing this yourself, you're gonna need a few things. Of course, a Game Boy camera and of course, a Game Boy. You're also gonna need a link cable, you know, that thing you would use to fight your friend's Pokemans with and the contents of this envelope, which has made its way all the way here to Texas from the greatest of Britons. But first, before we crack this thing open, if you could do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, helps get the video out to more people and lets me know how I'm doing. Thanks a bunch. All right, all right, here we go. We got a piece of paper and we got the star of the show a Wi-Fi printer. Now there are a few different ways that you can get access to your Game Boy camera pictures. This I found to be the cheapest and it comes by way of what I assume to be just some guy in Great Britain who makes them himself or herself or their self and sells them on Etsy. So I'll have a link to that down in the description. And I have not done this before, so I guess this is kind of a review of the whole process as well as uh, a tutorial. You got a paper here instructions on how to do all this. So this thing was about 40 bucks to have it purchased and shipped over here. A little, little pricey, but the memories are priceless. A brief pause from editor Pat. I thought I should explain why I chose the Wi-Fi printer over the other possible options of getting photos off of the Game Boy camera. The best apparently possible option is a, a device called the BitBoy, and it's an SD card kind of adapter. It goes for around a hundred bucks plus shipping compared to the 30 something pounds that the Wi-Fi adapter costs plus shipping. Alternatively, there is also a way to like modify the wiring in a Game Boy Link cable in order to hook it up to a computer. I'll leave some resources if you're brave enough to try that. Okay, fresh batteries. This is my Game Boy from childhood. Many a trip to grandma's house was accompanied by this guy and many a trip home was lit by the street lights. There's my wife heading out to work from our first apartment. Oh, hey, there I am, circa 2011. Let's get rid of the volume, because that's just absurd. We'll hook this thing up. So, looks like, just take one of the connectors, slide it on there, and, oh, I need one more thing. Just a, a USB cable here to plug into the other end of the Wi-Fi printer. And I think, I think, because that light just lit up, I think that might be necessary to power the device, but I'm no expert. Okay, and so to print these things, we'll go to this picture of um, an old roommate of mine playing the guitar. And we'll go up to print. And just... Oh, it's working. Okay, so in theory, this image should now be stored on this device. All right, let's get the computer over here now. Okay, it says that the Game Boy does not need to be attached. So here I have my computer. This is a project from the last time I used this computer. So now this should just be able to connect to the Wi-Fi and I should be able to download the image. Search and connect to the internet hotspot created by the Wi-Fi printer when a connection is established. So let's see, Game Boy printer right here. So now it says to 
go to this address. There it is! Oh man. Oh, and you can totally select the colors. We'll save this now. That's so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, that that was pretty straightforward. So you do need to visit this specific IP address. So it looks like, I'm not sure what is up with that. If that's like the, um, the guy that made the thing is like hosting a service or if it's just like uniquely the printer itself, which should be the case. But I don't know, if you know more about this than I do, let me know. But that, that worked, that's fine. All right, new test. I'm gonna try uh, a bunch of different pictures and see if they all show up. So let's see. Oh, there's a picture of my wife at work. There's a picture of me. There's a picture of my old shoes. And there's a picture of my dog. I took that one today. Let's go print that out. The first of many modern Game Boy camera photographs. This is really cool. I, I have literally been wanting to do this for years. So this is, well, the bee's knees, I tell you. So I just hit refresh on this web page here and all of the pictures, um, I guess it has some preloaded ones. Oh, so these are preloaded images from the guy that sent the thing. So it looks like there's three preloaded images and then we just save it. So what do I think? I think this thing is really simple to use. I would definitely recommend it if you are as very extremely nerdy as I am and want to take pictures with a Game Boy camera and look at yourself being weird from 10 years ago. So there you go. That is one way. And as far as I'm aware, the cheapest way to get your photos off of your Game Boy camera and into the real world. So what's next? Well, I got a lot of plans for this thing. So if you got stuff you want to see me try to achieve with this Game Boy camera, I got lots of ideas, but if you got ideas, let me know about them and look forward to making them happen. Anyway, if you want one of these, I will have a link down in the description. I'll also have some other links. And speaking of support, I have launched a Patreon. Pretty small right now, but if you're interested, it's out there. I'll put a link down below to that as well. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, I think you'll like this video and I guess that's it. So see you next time. Bye.